if you're on version 2021 or above, for GTA materials to work. Set to Max Legacy and restart 3DS Max. In this video, you will learn how to create a rectangular marker, which can be used for many things in MTA. Import the object that you would like to have surrounded by a marker. Create a box shape using splines. If you only want four sides, then you could just create a box primitive. I'll give it an extra height segment. Set up a material for viewing the gradient in viewport. For the vertex alpha gradient, I'll make a layer for the upper alpha, then a layer for the middle alpha, and at last, a layer that controls the entire model's alpha. When happy with the result, transfer the material color into vertex color and illumination channels. And then make the material color white. Transfer the vertex alpha into channel 9. and then transfer channel 9 to vertex alpha channel. Export the DFF at 000xyz. Export the collision and convert collision to boundings in Steve M's collision editor.